Greetings and welcome to the CMX 991 product introduction video. My name is Tim Rainier and I am a regional sales manager with CML Microcircuits. In this video, I will introduce you to the CMX 991 RF Quadrature Transceiver. I will explain what the CMX 991 is, review its block diagram, discuss its features and benefits, introduce its evaluation tools, and describe how to obtain samples or additional product information. So, what is it? The CMX 991 is a high-performance IQ transceiver targeted at demanding applications. Both APCO P25 and DMR are supported by the CMX 991. This device achieves its high level of performance with an image reject up mixer for transmit and a dual superheterodyne down converter for receive. Our frequency range from 100 megahertz to 1 gigahertz and modulation bandwidths up to 2 megahertz are supported by the CMX 991. A high level of integration allows the CMX 991 to reduce your part, parts count and bill of materials cost. The CMX 991 provides low power operation and uses a simple serial microcontroller interface. Let's take a closer look at the CMX 991. The transmitter requires analog IQ baseband signals at the differential inputs. The input stage provides a software controlled gain range of 12 dB. The IQ baseband input is upconverted to an IF. The transmit IF can be in the range of 45 MHz to 120 MHz. The IF LO is developed on chip. The IF signal is filtered to reduce harmonic content. The bandwidth of these filters is adjustable. The IF can be passed off chip if needed. An image reject up converter translates the IF to the final frequency. Use of an image reject up converter reduces the external filtering requirements. The transmit LO is developed externally, but the dividers are on chip. Both high side and low side mixing are supported. On the receive side, an external LNA amplifies the RF signal, and the CMX991 provides a control signal for the external LNA. The RF signal from the external LNA is applied to the differential input of the CMX991 first stage RF mixer. The external RF receive LO can be applied to the CMX991 as a differential or single ended input. The RF mixer outputs can be switched between two different paths. This allows use of different external IF filters to support radio channels with different channel bandwidths. The first receive IF can be in the range of 10 MHz to 150 MHz. A signal level indicator can work with the VGA to implement an automatic gain control function. The IF LO can be developed on chip or an external VCO can be used if desired. The IQ demodulator outputs have filters that act as anti-alias filters for external ADCs. The default filter bandwidth is 1 MHz in each of the I and Q channels for a 2 MHz total modulation bandwidth. The filter bandwidth can be reduced to 100 kHz in each channel if desired. A low IF output of 450 kHz, 455 kHz, or 465 kHz is easily achieved by using one branch of the IQ demodulator. The uncommitted amplifiers are available on chip to perform signal conditioning and differential to single-ended input conversion. So, what are some of the features of the CMX 991. The 100 MHz to 1 GHz frequency range means that the CMX 991 can support a variety of RF designs. The transmit section offers an input gain stage, on-chip IF LO, adjustable IF filter bandwidth, and an image reject up converter that provides great performance while relaxing the external filtering requirements. The receive section uses a dual superheterodyne architecture provide outstanding interference immunity, support for multiple channel bandwidths, an on-chip IF LO, and two output signal choices provide considerable flexibility for your next project. Uncommitted amplifiers allow the elimination of external op amps, saving board space and parts cost. And the benefits of the CMX 991, it's a high performance device that allows your design to meet demanding specifications, 
The transmitter's image reject up converter relaxes the external filtering requirements and the receiver's dual superheterodyne architecture provides excellent interference immunity. The CMX991 also provides exceptional flexibility. Its frequency range is much wider than many competitive devices that are focused on specific bands. The flexibility of the CMX991 is enhanced with its choice of IFs, support for multiple channel bandwidths, and choice of receive output signals. Parts count and bill of materials cost are reduced through the CMX991's high level of integration. And the CMX991 also offers low power operation and small packets. We have some evaluation tools available for the CMX991. These consist of EV9910B, and that is the evaluation kit for the CMX991. The PE002 PC interface card and its graphical user interface make CMX991 evaluation fast and simple. Please visit the CML website to learn more about the CMX991 or to request samples or an evaluation board. Thank you for watching the introduction video for the CMX991 RF quadrature transceiver from CML Microcircuits.